Hi, I'm Julia. I just graduated from the University of Pennsylvania with a degree in Science, Technology, and Society. And I'm really worried about the future of the internet. And that's how I actually found out about the TPP. Because the TPP has some really bad regulations in store for the internet. And we know that because one chapter that concerns intellectual property was leaked by WikiLeaks last month. Otherwise, most of the chapters are completely secret. There's 29 chapters, and only five of them really directly regulate trade. The others cover a whole host of things that might actually be the authority of domestic regulators. And right now, we're trying to get people to act because the TPP is trying to be passed through Congress on fast-track authority, fast-track trade promotion authority. And this allows uh, only a set limit of time for Congress to vote up or down on the legislation, and they can't amend it. And so if we had a more transparent process, this whole thing has been shrouded in secrecy from the beginning. We might end up with a better bill, but rather than allowing Congress to give input or journalists to know anything about what's being discussed, they've negotiated it in complete secret, but with 600 corporate advisors allowed full access to the text. And so you can kind of imagine what kind of treaty this is going to be. It's going to favor those interests. And so right now there's a bunch of citizen groups that are concerned with exposing facts behind this very secret trade agreement, and um, you can learn more from Public Citizen, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, Knowledge Ecology Online, plus the TPP. These are all groups that have dedicated uh, a portion of their time to researching and bringing the facts to citizens, and um, you can also get active to try to stop Fast Track by signing an online petition. There's one at moveon.org. Um, there's also the option of calling or writing your congressperson. There's already momentum in Congress because uh, 151 Democratic representatives and 22 Republican representatives have already written a letter to Obama saying that they do not want the TPP to pass on fast track. They want the ability to see it and they want their constitutional authority to regulate trade. Uh, I realize I didn't quite cover exactly what we think the TPP is going to do other than intellectual property. That's what we know for sure because we have that chapter released by WikiLeaks, right? But the other chapters, um, Lori Wallach of Public Citizen has done a lot of investigative research and what she suspects is in those chapters will is um, investor state arbitration rules which will allow corporations to directly sue governments in an international court bypassing the Supreme Court and they can sue governments for expected future profits. So that means if a government puts in an environmental regulation or a labor regulation that might hurt this corporation's profits, they can sue for it and the government will have to cover those costs. So that makes it immensely prohibitive for governments to pass regulations in the interest of their citizens. Also, um, it's going to restrict access to medicines, and we know this from the IP chapter. Um, they've try they're trying to extend patents to new surgical methods and a lot of generic drugs that people in poor countries can't afford the branded version of, but of course the big pharma lobby is behind the U.S. negotiators. Um, also, there are provisions in there to, to regulate the financial industry, and of course a lot of jobs are going to be lost from this. So, you've got to learn the facts, go online, look it up, and um, know this is immensely important. 40% of the world economy in more countries, like China and Korea, might be joining. So, get the news for it too late.